Hello everybody, Washoot here, and welcome back to the Forest of Drizzling Rain. So, it turns out that there was a secret sixth ending. So I was I was remembering the old version of the game, there's only five endings, there's actually a secret sixth one. Go ahead and check out the description on how to unlock it. And so, we will now view it, because if there's a sixth secret ending, I can't possibly say that I have found all the endings without finding the sixth one. So here it is for you. Miko. Uh. Let Miko go. The snake won't even budge. Hold on, Miko. I'm gonna get you out. Shiori, leave me. Just run. I can't do that. You have to. She'll catch you. Don't worry about me. Shiori, please. Take this. That small, luminous stone? I found it when we were digging in the ground. It's small and weak, so I don't think it'll be of much help. But I want you to have it. I can't. Miko, you should. Sure, you can't just keep sacrificing yourself. Sure, you. Won't let me apologize and won't let me protect you. Just let me be the sacrifice. It doesn't matter if I die. Please, just go. Miko, why are you doing this? Miko. Okay. I'll come back with some people from the village. Miko. Hey, Miko. She fainted. She must be in pain. I can't get rid of this snake alone. I need to hurry and get help. She can't just say things like it doesn't matter if I die. I have to do something. After all, this is all my fault. I have to take responsibility. Wait for me, Miko. I'll be back as soon as I can. I have to go back. I have to protect Miko. I can't be the only one holding a luminous stone. I can't. Miko. Please, Miko. You should be the one to keep this stone. Shiori. Why did you... break your promise? How could I keep it if anything happened to you? That's not fair. Yes, humans are selfish beings. Huh? Who's that? Always breaking your promises. You ravage, you sin, but it's never enough. Screaming and always so selfish. You don't even acknowledge your betters. You sinful humans. I will devour you. Where are we? Miko? Shiori. What is this place? Why are we? A snake wrapped itself around you, and then... Snake? Why would a snake... I don't know, but this is, uh... The Forgotten Shrine of the Forest. Forgotten? Yes, humans have tried to forget. What do you think these shrine dolls are? They are offerings to deceive me. And even though I mercifully accepted them, what did I get in return? Yes, the humans continued to abandon and betray me. Uh, what? Why are we... Why have 
We have to get away from the taking spirit. Shiori, stop talking. I'm sure this snake is the old, old god of the forest. Insolent humans. Why do you think you are here? Why do you think you are running from that woman? It is all because you have betrayed me. Long ago we lived in this formus together, in harmony. But one day the humans discovered rice and left the forest. Since then the humans continued to steal more and more from the forest. I made it rain to protect the forest and as a reminder to the humans who left. And thus, they built a shrine and began to pray to me. They made me a promise. In exchange for quelling the raging floods, they would never step foot in the forest again and offer sacrifices in return. But that promise was eventually broken the sacrifices became mere dolls of young girls, and once more, men entered the forest for food. There's no way people would offer human sacrifices, and people went into the forest because they were hungry. Insolent humans, selfish as ever. Man has always been so. On that day, a small, scrawny woman trespassed into the forest, and so I turned myself into a little snake to give her a warning. But that woman shrieked. Help me kill this snake. Then a man who had heard her shrieks cut my head off. Me, the god of the forest. It was then that I realized I could never trust you insolent humans again. No normal person would think a small snake could be a god. I could not forgive that insolent woman. But as man had violated our sacred promise, I no longer had any power left in me. However, I could not let this transgression go unpunished. So I sent that man, the man who had severed my head and foolishly fell in love with that wench, a cold, quiet whisper, to resent the woman like a venomous snake. The man's love turned into hatred, and Eek turned her life into a living hell. In the end, she threw herself into the pond. Humans can be so cruel, driven by such feelings of love and hate. They are foolish and horrible creatures. Wait, then the dreams I've been having ever since I came to the Archive? You mean that's the reason the Taking Spirit was born? Yes, indeed. But strangely enough, the man who killed the woman went mad. Wanting to erase his sins, he beat his head against a rock every night. Such a foolish, selfish, and pathetic man. I no longer had any love for humans. But I gave them one last gift. I gave the stone the power to grant the man's wish. The power to erase memories. Ecstatic. The man entered the forest and wished upon the stone. Was that the luminous stone? Luminous stone, that's what the humans call it. So all this time, the village has been suffering just for that? You think this is trivial? Those who cause harm always feign ignorance, playing the victim whenever it is convenient. 
That smell of foolishness contaminates the air, creating a terrible stench. That woman and that man are both the same to me. They still pretend to be victims. Even you, you are the same. You feel pity for those humans. But it is man who has forgotten and abandoned me. Because of this, I, the god of the forest, will fade away. And then, the luminous stones too will disappear. When that day comes, you will know true suffering. I must regain my power once again. But without the luminous stones, the taking spirit will... Shiori, don't listen to what it's saying. We can't reason with a stubborn god. And without offerings, I have no power. At this rate, that woman will rule the forest. I cannot allow that to happen. I require a sacrifice. One of a young maiden. You understand, right? Don't tell me. Miko, run! Where are we? It's not the forest. You cannot escape. Because... You are now... Inside my stomach. No way. We still have to run. Let's go, Miko. But what do we do? Where can we even run? Girl, could you be a descendant of that woman? Huh? What's wrong, Shiori? I guess Miko can't hear it. It's nothing. Then, do you intend to pay for your ancestor's sins? There is another way. I only require... one offering. My offerings were always young girls. So I don't mind one more. But if you atone for you the sins of the past, I will let your friend go. I would transform you back into a suitable offering, and then I would devour you. Shiori? Miko, I'm sorry. Could you walk in front of me? Huh? Sure, but why? Uh, I'm just scared. I get it, Shiori. No problem. I'll walk in front, so don't worry. Thank you, Miko. I see. So you have chosen to atone. Then, I will accept your sacrifice. Hey, Shiori, if we make it out of this, you can rely on me even more, you know. Even if the villagers or the caretaker make you scared, I'll always back you up. Yeah. Even if you go back to the city, I promise I'll follow you. So, you don't have to take on everything yourself. Yeah. Thank you, Miko. Shiori, why does your voice sound please, suddenly sound younger? 
Shiori? Shiori? Shiori, what happened? I'm sorry, Nico. Why, why? Yes, good. Once I devour you, I will regain my strength. I will also devour that woman who threatens the forest. Once I do, this tragedy will all come to an end. It'll all end. No, please don't take Shiori away. I don't care if you're supposed to be some snake god. Just stop, stop it, please. Shiori. Shiori put an end to everything. But now Shiori is... won't be coming back. Ah... It's getting rid of all the ghosts. The god of the forest has returned. Shh. Shh. She. 